All right, so joining us here today is Chris Mutton from Math Club Productions, and he's here to talk to us a little bit about his online hacker drama, Leet. Chris, thanks so much for being here. First of all, what is Math Club Productions? Math Club Productions is a homebrewed vidcasting uh, production company that um, is trying to provide entertainment through the internets, the internets, the webs. And what we try, we're trying to really provide is a way of showing people that they don't have to go for content just from the regular broadcasting. Uh, you know, your TV, your TiVo, you can get the stuff out on the internet and download it and watch it at your leisure most of the time. Math Club Productions came from actually a social group that we have. Um, a long time ago, we were brought together as a group of friends, the producer and I, and we used to go to a bar. And for some reason, we got labeled as the Math Club or the Geek Squad or the Spectacle Squad. Not me, I don't have glasses, but the other four did. I was the bouncer of the group, I guess. And they started calling us the Math Club, and we started calling ourselves the Math Club. And next thing you know, we have 40 or 50 people in our social group that started showing up. You know, we go see movies together, we hang out, and we started networking not only socially, but business wise. You know, you know someone who was in real estate would sell a house to somebody in our group or find someone. We were really arguing over what our name of our film was going to be and or our production company and after struggling with about seven names that were already copyrighted, we were like, you know, we already use half the people in Math Club, the social group, why not call it Math Club Productions? So exactly what is Leet? Leet is uh, a, a hacker term or online term for being elite or uh, a hacker, hack score, whatever you want to say. And we came about that name because um, one of the things we were trying to do is, while it doesn't expound totally our show's a dramatic show, we wanted to be able to tell people basically what the show was going to kind of be about, which is about four hackers coming together. Uh, they think for hacking for good, you know, throughout the season things kind of change and take a downward spiral from there. So where did the idea for an online hacker drama come from? Uh, you know, the producer and I, John, were sitting around, we were talking about podcasts at that point, and this was back in August, June and August of last year. Um, and then one day, the bombings over in England happened. And I was just, you know, I woke up one that day, we had a meeting about doing a podcast, and I was just kind of like, you know, wouldn't it have been great if hackers could have hacked those cell phones and stopped that whole thing? And John was like, man, we need to do something like that. And then I said, you know, I got an idea. And we just started rolling with it. And next thing he did is, I'm very ADD, so he's like, start writing this down, Chris, because that's why I have him around. He makes me write things down, makes me write things down. Did I say right? No. Makes me things write down. Uh, so I started to, and we got the whole thing written down within like two hours. So that's where it came from. So why take all this money and time to do this production? I just think this is really the direction that, that you know, this type of entertainment is going. And it's important to show people that in the end you can do whatever you want to set your mind to. Uh, we, we hope to, you know, kind of foster a sense that if you have an idea with some production value and a little bit of money, you can do something on your own. And, uh, you know, I just, that's one of the reasons why I think we draw people into our production is because everybody sees us doing things instead of just talking about doing something. So what's been the biggest challenge doing Leap? Coordinating everybody. I mean, you know, you just don't know how big of a task it is to edit and try to control everybody and get people there on time and also get the scenes, you know, you think a scene that would just gonna come out being 30 seconds takes four hours to shoot, and people just don't see that. And I think that's one of the biggest things is managing time and being able to do this when most of us have second and third jobs. What would you say to any aspiring filmmakers that really wanna get into like online broadcasting? I would say instead of saying that you need to like find a company to work with or anything like that, I'd say look for people that you can network with Find someone who has a camera, find someone who does sound, tell them about your production, and you'll find people. I mean, that's really how we've worked, you know. I think we found our, our, our camera, we did find our camera and editor because we were just talking about one day, and he was like, I'd love to do a project like that. Uh, and then some of our actors came on that way, and our latest director came on, you know, wow, you guys are doing something. I want to be part of something that's being done instead of talked about. So where would you like to see Lee in about a year from now? We already have three seasons uh, roughly outlined. We'd like to have Beyond Second, our second season, and uh, we'd like to start becoming a kind of a mobile production company, such as in just instead of being stuck in Richmond, become more mobile with our production and, and moving around and getting more you know, exotic locations like Washington, D.C. or something. Who knows? Where do you see IPTV going in the next one to three years? 
Um, it's incredible. Two or three years ago, I started seeing this trend of, you know, uh, alternative broadcast, alternatives to broadcasting. And uh, as far as this trend goes, I, you know, I hope it does take over broadcasting because this is so much more directed towards somebody who's looking for specific content. And it, for me, it allows me to find what I want, watch it when I want. And really, if I don't like it, I just don't watch it again, you know. Or I'm not a slave to my TiVo or my TV of when it's coming on. Uh, the IPTV, I think, is going to split and hopefully will grow into what more than what they're talking about now. I know many companies are talking about it as a backbone for a new way of developing and distributing. But I think if you also incorporate these types of homebrew, uh, you know, shows into this IPTV, you could open up a whole new floodgate of technologies and ways of distributing te uh, entertainment. And how can our viewers find out more about Math Club Productions and about Lee? We are on the uh, www.mathclubinc.com uh, is our main web page. You can also go on to iTunes where you can look, search through 1 through 3, 7 and you'll find our production company off of there. Um, and then we're also on Pod Lounge out of Australia and uh, Fire Ant is another one that we're listed on. So Chris, thanks so much for joining us, and I suggest everybody head over to Math Club Productions and check out Lee. It's a really awesome online hacker drama vidcast that I think you will all enjoy. Look, don't fool yourself. Maybe the petty bullshit that you've dealt with can be forgotten, but not mine. Rationalize all you want. The point is, your son needs you. That should be your focus. Is life always that simple for you, Pops?